Ethiopia's ongoing civil war began when the Tigrayan People's Liberation Front, commonly known as the TPLF, attacked Ethiopia's northern command base in the country's Tigray region on November 3, 2020. The TPLF is a long-standing U.S. ally who ruled Ethiopia with an iron fist from 1991 until they were overthrown by a popular uprising, which brought Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed to power in 2018. KPFA's Ann Garrison reports from on the ground in Ethiopia's Afar region, which the TPLF has invaded and occupied twice since the war began. Valerie Browning, founder of the Afar Pastoralist Development Association, is a legendary Australian nurse, known locally as Malaika, who has lived among the Afar desert pastoralists since the famine of 1973. She described the TPLF's horrific destruction of Afar communities, markets, health centers, schools, mosques, and livestock, and said that what the TPLF couldn't steal, they destroyed. She didn't hesitate to blame U.S. and Western support for the TPLF for the catastrophe that Afar has been left in, with hundreds of thousands of destitute Afaris living in IDP camps or still in the desert lands they fled into to escape the TPLF. If the Western world had not put their hand in at the beginning of the war, we wouldn't be in this mess today. So they interfered from the very beginning. They agreed with the TPLF. They allowed the TPLF. At the same time the TPLF fighting was going on, suffering and hardship had begun in Afar. They only started talking about the suffering and hardship of the Afar about six weeks ago, and that's when the first journalists were allowed to come here. Browning also dismissed the U.S. position that the TPLF is one warring party that should negotiate to reach some sort of shared power arrangement. The people of Tigray region should have a voice in parliament, she said, but the TPLF should not return to power after all the damage they have done in their war on Afar and other parts of Ethiopia. I think the American position is still that TPLF should be in government, and this is not going to go. The people of Tigray should have a space in the parliament of Ethiopia, the same as any people of the country, but not the TPLF, no. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. I mean, yeah, let's be fair. Brenning said she had expected the TPLF, armed with tanks and artillery, to reach Samara, where her organization is based, but that the legendary Afari fighters, armed only with Kalashnikovs, had driven them back. The Afari people, she said, are committed to the unity of the Ethiopian nation, but she doesn't know how much more they can withstand if the TPLF attack again. Afar <clears throat> believe in the nation of Ethiopia, they try to keep the nation and they want Ethiopia to be one country. They want Ethiopia to succeed, to have economy. Uh, this, is, this is, if you like, the juggler vein, this road from Djibouti, because it's bringing imports and exports. They're trying hard, but if TPLF come back again, it's too bad, because they've hurt Afa so badly with this livelihood. I don't know what we can do. I really don't know. I really don't know. Afar need food. They know it need water supply, clean water supply. They need uh, medical help. They need anything. And if the people have come back and do dangerous destruction again, then Afar is in a shocking condition. In Afar region, Ethiopia, for Pacifica, KPFA Radio, I'm Ann Garrison.